They say everything's bigger in Texas. Except for us, we're, we're still we're, st we're still the same size. We are in the Lone Star State for seven days. Now we have never been to Texas before, so we figured what better way to jumpstart the trip than coming to the best gas station in the whole world, Bucky's. Plus we really have to pee and they have really clean bathrooms. Oh, we gotta do the beaver nuggets. How many beaver nuggets we need? It's necessary. That is not going to be big enough. This isn't a gas station. It's a Bucky's. True. Makes out like ten cows. There it is. Oh, there it is. Magic happens in there. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> we did it. We found the world's cleanest bathrooms, and the kids are excited about it. So we're going to go try it out. Only I'm not going to film inside the bathroom because it's, that would be weird, and I would probably get arrested. So I'll let you know how it is. We left home, spent money, flew 2,000 miles, try to show the kids a good time, and they get excited about a bathroom. How was it? It was good. Clean? Yeah. So it clean. Exceptionally clean. Literally, when you leave the stall, an attendant goes in and like cleans everything. It's cleaned between butts. It is insane. And you wash your hands if you get water on the counter. They're like, Shh, sh, sh. cleanest bathroom. That's like your dream, then, huh? Yes. You love a clean bathroom in a clean house. Yeah. Coming from the airport, this is so much cleaner and refreshing. And now I'm gonna buy. Food. I can buy a pulled pork sandwich, turn around, and get baked goods. Incredible. I need some Texas pennies. Like the Bucky's merchandising is like on point. I've never seen such great merchandise. It's literally like everything you can think of. Bucky's Frisbee, Bucky's umbrella, Bucky's t-shirts, Bucky's everything. Gift bags. Literally everything. This is unreal. It's a bunch of, of meat. It's a bunch of jerkies and then a cooler full of sausage. <laughs> My mind is blown right now. Like legitimately blown. This is crazy. <laughs> I've really got it. <laughs> You're it. When did you get a golden book? Mom? Mom? Oh no. No, 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 no. No, avert your eye. I see something over there. We should go over there. Country roads take me <laughs> home. It's aisle. true. Let's leave this aisle. If you want to bring happiness to the... I already have that one. They got signs with horses. <gasps> they got Tonka signs. It's like these were made for us. But they weren't. We should go somewhere else. Oh, wind me up and watch me go. <laughs> so Bucky's is not only a gigantic gas station, but it also has really good food. So we got some pulled pork sandwiches, some Southwest wraps, a breakfast sandwich, salad. We, we bought everything. That was an experience. That place is amazing. Yeah. And Bucky's chips and their tater tots. We got it all. So we're having lunch and then we'll be on our way. All right, so we have come to Texas because we do have some work to do here, but mostly we're playing and working. We're playing and working. When we left, it was 45 degrees. It is 95 and very, <laughs> very humid we were just plunged back into instant summer and we're not used to it so we're melting i think we're gonna go uh, take the kids back to the hotel relax a little bit swim a little bit we'll we'll emerge again when the, when the temperatures go down okay so we've gone to bucky's we've gotten here we've gone to the pool and we're tired so we're going to be in Dallas, well, in Texas, for seven days. This is day one. We just want to go to bed, but when in Rome, or in Texas, we eat barbecue.
So like Melissa said, while in Texas, right? So we are at Terry Black's here in downtown Dallas where they're supposed to have some top-notch Texas barbecue. Really looking forward to this. I've been looking forward to this for a while. So everything looks really good. We got some, what do we have here? We got smoked turkey, we have some burnt ends. What else? Is that the brisket? Yeah, we got some brisket, bunch of sides. Everything looks really, really good. Everything's so good. Spicy. I apologize to you. This is the best potato salad I've ever had. I don't make potato salad, so apology <laughs> accepted. That's not even like food. It's, it's like good. it melts in your mouth. It's candy meat. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Terry Blacks. Do it. Two thumbs up. It was so good. My stomach is so full now. Oh. Worth it though, right? I feel fantastic. I don't know how. You must not have eaten I, as much as me. I tore it up. I mean, I got every kind. I have the sides. I feel great. I still got some mousse. The potato salad. Take some of that. The potato salad was awesome. The mac and cheese, okay, but all the barbecue. All the barbecue is so good. So our day here in downtown Dallas is winding down and we figured that since we were here, it was worth stopping by, especially since Eli wanted to uh, come here to actually see this for himself. We're at the site of the JFK assassination. Really uh, interesting to be standing here. In fact, one of the things I was just telling Melissa I didn't realize is that the, uh, the roadway that he was actually killed on is, is very downhill, which I guess I never realized in looking at like the old Zapruder films and stuff like that. So yeah. um, interesting to be here. Yeah, very, sure. very uh, important piece of American history. Yeah, they have um, like pretty much the spot where he was assassinated is just a spray painted X. Like we expected there to be like a big presidential emblem or something like that, but it's just an X. So we are back in the car because it turns out that Texas is huge and we're going to be doing a lot of driving. It is day two and today is all about doing something that I've actually really been wanting to do for a long time. Jeremy's really excited about it. Two miles. Keep left onto I-35 South toward Waco. Shh. <laughs> Shh. Jeremy's really excited about it. I'm really excited about it. So here we go. It's a celebration. <laughs> Are you guys excited? Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> Come on. This is for mom. This is for mom. You looking forward to this? It's Joanna coffee. The Joanna beans. Joanna. Joanna brew. It smells like her. Oh my <laughs> so we are at Magnolia Market or the silos. I'm not totally sure what it's called. I've obviously been a huge fan of the show for a long time. Joanna Gaines is my spirit animal, as I have said. I love decorating. I have all her dishes. It's true. I'm a fan. So we came all the way to Texas. We had to make the 90 minute drive to Waco because when you're here, you gotta do all things Texas. You're 99% of the way here, might as well, right? Right, might as well do it. So we're here, it's a Monday, it's definitely mellow. There's not a lot of people, so it's perfect. It's just our speed. I know, Melissa, look at that sign We believe there. in home. I put that in the living room. I believe in home also. Believe in home. Eat, sleep, and drink. <laughs> it's a swiveling Sherpa chair. Can we get that for the pod? I love all things Sherpa. Oh my gosh, Jeremy, this is like your jacket that you live in. Oh, I can take a shower and just sit in this. Dry off my backside. <laughs> Wait, how would you dry the front of you? <laughs> Show me. <laughs> All right, we found the little church. Nevea remembers this episode. They were arguing over the floor color. Jeremy, sounds familiar? Yeah, slightly. Joanna won, and she was right, mind you. That feels familiar. This place is off. See? Dark floors, it was a wise choice. Dark floors. Sorry, that's charm, again, that's charm. Charm, Jeremy. I don't think it would be much shorter here. Oh, it's good.
So this whole Magnolia experience is a lot bigger than we thought. I thought it was just like a single shop and the bakery. And so I promised the kids that we were gonna go hit up the bakery. They have been um, patient, but they're ready for a cupcake. So we found the bakery. Jeremy's excited, the kids are excited. Bakery it is. How is it? Gluten free treats, mm -hmm. dairy free treats. I got neither. I got a shiplap cupcake. This is the cupcake. <laughs> These, no joke, taste homemade. The cake tastes like my mom made it, which is great. And the frosting is like a big puff of like just melt in your mouth, powder, sugar, buttercream. All right, we're just getting ready to leave Magnolia. It was really fun. I think it's definitely worth the trip. If you're a Fixer Upper fan or a Gaines fan, worth the trip out here. Thanks for putting up with it. Yeah, I Mama know we had a hot. good time. We had to do it. We came all the way down here. We were so close. So I'm glad that Melissa got to experience that because she enjoys all things Joanna Gaines. Yes. So now we're just going to go relax for the evening. And tomorrow it is time to get down to the whole reason why we came to Texas in the first place. I am literally the worst traveler because I don't like foreign things. Bed, food, germy surfaces. But this year I brought something along that I have to have every single day, something familiar, something that I love, my daily AG1. And this is so great to have along with me because I need all the energy and the immunity that I can get. AG1 is literally the perfect all-in-one screen, powder packed with 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens in one simple daily serving. And it's a daily ritual that I can actually stick to. It's just a one scoop, or in my case, since I'm traveling, one travel pack. I love these things. These are perfect for in the car, in my purse. You dump that into your water, you shake it up, and you are good to go. So the number one question I get asked about AG1 is what exactly does it taste like? For me, it tastes a little bit like wheatgrass, but also a little fruity, but not sweet. Kind of like grass and pineapple. It's just really, really refreshing. Originally, I started taking AG1 because it supports your gut health and a healthy digestion. And healthy digestion means you feel better. It supports your immune system, your energy, your focus, your recovery, even aging. So to check out AG1 for yourself, just click the link down in the description below. You are going to get a free year of the D3K2 drops plus five free travel packs with your first purchase. Again, those are awesome for throwing in your purse or for travel. That is a year supply of the vitamin D plus five free travel packs with your first purchase. Definitely go check it out. All right, I've got my AG1. I'm ready to get back to the day. It is day three for us here in Texas. And the entire reason that we actually made our way down here to Texas is because we were invited to attend a YouTube event while we are here. We're also working, which means that we have a little impromptu uh, podcast studio that we've set up here in our hotel room. Yeah, so we have a very big deal guest coming on here in a few minutes, Zach King. So we can't believe that he's coming on the podcast. We're so excited. We are so nervous. By the time this video goes live, the podcast will already be up. So if you want to see how our conversation is about to go, head on over to GSL Uncut. We have a link it down below. But I don't know. We're, we're super nervous. Yeah, we're voices. Good. See you again. Welcome. Thanks for coming in and doing this. Oh, I love it. Oh, and the family. What's going on? Hi. Good to see you. Hi. 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 I'm just switching up on all of you. <laughs> Yeah, so. I'm here for you, literally. So whatever you guys want to <laughs> do, I love the makeshift uh, podcast. We went to Walmart. Not as homey vibes as uh, your regular <laughs> podcast. I like it. I, I like that you crack open a whiskey and uh, <laughs> yeah. your wine, and then you guys get to talk. You guys want me over here? Um, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah I figured with that. Um, you and Rachel have a garden at your place, yes. correct? Yep. We brought you some rainbow glass gem corn that you can okay. actually peel so. the kernels off and plant. I love the controller. <laughs> Oh no. Whoa. That's better than any movie I ever made at 13. <laughs> so much emotion. Good screenwriting. Good shot design. Way to go. Don't shake your hand before you're famous. <laughs> Remember us when you're, you know, out there in Hollywood. <laughs> How was that, Kailani? You had Zach came watch your first film that you made. I, I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> Or, or why it happened. Was but. that the coolest experience ever? Yeah. <laughs> That's so awesome. Did you think when you were making your film that one day Zach King would be watching? No. No, I did not. <laughs> Some good feedback you got. Good job. Good job. And 
right, Mama, how was that? That was really good. That was really cool. I think the coolest thing to come out of the whole experience was Kaimani made a short film and he worked on it for two months and he had no idea that anyone would ever see it besides our family. He puts on these little films for us, but Zach King watched it and gave him feedback and that was incredible. You don't get to just make a short film and have Zach King watch it, so that was very, very cool for him. Yeah, that was awesome. Uh, big thanks to Zach for that and just for sitting down and chatting with us for a bit. Such a great guy, so easy yeah. to talk to, um, and just really enjoyed the experience. This is why we love the podcast so much. So. Yeah, yeah, that was incredible. So we're gonna we're gonna go get some some work done, some walking around and getting to see other YouTubers, and then we will get back to the family fun. All right, so today took a weird turn. We are in the Mavericks training facility. So this is awesome. This is Mark Cuban's building. We're gonna meet him anytime. No, we're not. We're not gonna meet Mark Cuban. But uh, Jeremy's gonna play some basketball with some much younger guys, fellow YouTubers, Mr. Beast. Um, pretty insane. We cannot film that, so we're not going to. But we're in the Mavericks training facility. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah. How do we get into this situation? So, uh, today's been a crazy day because like, we were just, you know, hanging out and then we're talking to Zach King and now we're in the Mavericks training facility getting ready to play, well, Jeremy's getting ready to play basketball against um, some of the biggest YouTubers. Alright, Daddy. So not only am I probably the oldest, I may also be the shortest, so. <laughs> the oldest and shortest, but you got cool shoes and socks. First kick at a draft. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh, fur. I was freezing in here. All right, so this trip has gotten even weirder. We are now in the Dude Perfect facility. Um, Dude Perfect is a massive, massive channel that our kids love. And they have a whole facility and um, we're having dinner there and we've met all the guys. Yeah, and everybody's really friendly and accommodating and we're so gracious and thankful for them and the type of content that they make. And the kids are just loving having the experience of just even having the opportunity to, to meet these people and chat with them. It's really, really cool. Yeah, it, it, this, has been, this has been a huge blessing. Like, dream come true for the kids. This is a very cool experience. party is over. That was amazing. You have so much fun. Mm -hmm. Who did you meet? Uh, I met the Dude Perfect guys. This is the coolest thing. Mm -hmm. Did you ever think you'd get to meet them? No. Did you know you were going to meet them the day? That was cool. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, so the chaos of the whole conference is done now. We only have a one day left in Texas. Yeah, it's our last full day here, and we are at the Fort Worth Stockyards, where they celebrate all things Western cowboy culture. In fact, tonight we're attending a rodeo. Should be cool. Yeah, it's a good way to wrap up the trip. You don't know that? Oh, uh -huh. That's what he <laughs> says. You just walk in and go, Yeah, because yeah, you don't know John Wayne, that's why. Because you know, it, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> we're in the little uh, John Wayne experience and I watch the show with my grandma and grandpa sometimes so I, I recognize Bullet the dog and Trigger the horse it's a little weird that they're here and they're stuffed but it's kind of cool at the same time and I sort of want to do this up in the loft it's weird. I've, n I've never, honestly, I've never seen. I've seen a dog done, or, but never a horse. So uh, for uh, John Wayne fans, there's a horse. Stuffed. I'm filming you filming me. Filming you filming me. We're professionals. So we actually skipped the whole walking of the, the longhorn cattle 
and we're skipping the little rodeo because we found out while we were in Fort Worth that PBR is going on, which is the professional bull riders. They're not here very often. I think this is like a once a year event. We just happened to be here today. So we sold those tickets and then we bought PBR tickets. So we're going to professional bull riding. Eli is so excited. We watch it on TV all the time. You excited? Uh-huh. We had to do it for Eli. All right, we found our seats. We are in, we are in row one, literally right at the chute. That's right where the balls, are, oh, the balls. <laughs> That's right where the balls are gonna come so the out. The balls are gonna be reeking out of it. Anyway, it's gonna be awesome. We're excited. The exploring the balls. <laughs> it's just, it's, cause there's no balls. It's just, well, the bulls have, Never mind. It's, <laughs> it's how they make them buck. <laughs> That was a very, very cool experience. Like, I'm so glad that we found out about it and that we went and did it. It is almost 11 o'clock at night. We're 45 minutes away from our hotel. Everything is a mess. We're not packed up and we have to be back at the airport returning the car by probably 6.30 a.m. But it's time to go home. This has been an amazing trip, but we are so, so ready <laughs> to go back home. In the early years of our family, we didn't do much traveling. We were always pinching our pennies and working towards a bigger goal. 
and I also suppose that we just felt that we had time. The six of us had so many years ahead together, but those years passed quickly, and we realized recently that it is now or never for seeking out these experiences together as a complete family unit. We are the creators of their memories, and every year they grow a little bit older. All too soon they are going to have families of their own, and that torch will be passed on to them. But for now, we still have a little time left. I am so grateful for every single incredible opportunity that we had this week. It was an amazing trip. But in the back of my mind, I kept reminding myself to watch their faces to remember little moments and all the funny things that they said, because it is a flash in time that quickly becomes only a memory. I read a quote on one of those little gas station signs, and it went like this. When today becomes the past, make sure it'll make you smile.